G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv, and in this video we're going to look at saving a string to a file, which is generally a fairly simple task, but I've managed to make it quite difficult. So I have here two memos, one containing just sort of plain ANSI text, the classic Lorium Epsom typesetting text, I've just got four paragraphs of it, and the other one I've got some a Unicode test example. So I have a bunch of methods for saving a string <laughs> to a file, and we'll go through them briefly. The, the, the first is using a string list. This is probably what I would have done sort of back in the day, sort of uh, Delphi 7 kind of kind of thing. And so basically we're creating a string list and we're just assigning a text property and then saving it. We do need to specify this encoding here to say that we want to save it as UTF-8. I am trying to save everything in UTF-8 because that is the um, standard text format that you'd want to use for, for most instances. So that's fairly simple. The And yeah, I mean, that's a nice, simple, easy to understand bit of code. These days I would use this method. It's a write all text. And um, so on T file, it's in IO utils. And we just specify. In fact, you can leave off this encoding. I think it does it UTF-8 by default. We can we can test it out. And that's the easiest way. And there's lots of lots of write type methods, write all lines, write all text, depending on what kind of. So if you've got, you know, bytes or an array of lines or something like that. The third method. I've got here is using a file stream. And what we need to do first is convert the string into UTF-8. So I'm just using this UTF-8 encode method. Uh, this is not what I do normally, but this, this works fine. And this kind of gives us a, an ANSI string, um, a raw byte string. I don't know if I can't control click on that. And for that, we need to convert it to a, a well, from a string to a pointer and back, kind of. It's, it's kind of a weird uh, <laughs> thing to do, but anyway. So we writing the contents. And of course, we need to convert it to UTF-8 because Delphi strings are UTF-16 in memory. And so we'd get, well, you have, you'd have two problems. The first, you'd have the file be twice the size. And the second, we're not, we're not writing a byte order mark, which I, did I find to find? No, I deleted it. You'd have to write a byte order mark first is to indicate the file is stored in UTF-16. Next is using a memory stream. And we can be a little bit more concise with this one because there is a write method that takes T bytes. Oh, there's probably one on here as well, but I'm using this uh, encode for basically creating a, a string. Uh, in this instance, we're creating an array of bytes for, by using get bytes. So we want to get convert this string into an array of UTF-8 bytes, which is what we have here. And then we can just write that out nice and sim simply. And of course, writes it to memory, and then we can just call save to file. You wouldn't want to necessarily do this with a file that's many gigabytes in size, but it would probably still work. I mean, most computers have lots of memory these days, so we probably have to run into tens of tens or hundreds of gigabytes for it to be particularly um, disastrous. Yep, that works fine. I mean, we can use do something similar to this one, who's right right buffer, but that's uh, much more concise. We can use a file, um, sorry, a stream writer, and that is, you know, descends from text writer, and has lots of methods on it, and so we can call write and then. Um, just free. And that will make sure that's saved to a file. So that one's nice and concise and simple. We can use the Win32 API. And again, um, getting a copy of our string as UTF-8. And in this time, we're writing from position zero, the whole length of the string, or array rather. And that's effectively, so it's a file write. That's if we control click on that and then control click on write file, we're effectively using the 132 API. It's slightly abstracted. Um, and 
we can use a string stream and a t string stream this descends from memory stream so we can just call save to file on it and then i've got the what you do if you're still programming in turbo pascal so calling assign file with the file name and rewrite write write the contents and then close it off and this one does not work for our unicode example but we'll see that shortly so let's run no i need to need to tell you how it works first so what i've done is in the form create i have this prox as array of t save string data which is wait at the top here which is, has a reference to a procedure and the name of the procedure and i just create uh, fill that array with the procedure and its name and then when i call uh, click go we are calling the procedure twice once with the basic lorem ipsum text and the other with the unicode sample and we're a, a prepending unicode at the beginning of the unicode ones so it's very simple and if we run it and go have a look at the files and it'll go back forwards to that one okay that's good um i've been playing around with uh, the various bits and pieces um so these the the lower maps and ones all work correctly the so there's the using using the api file stream memory stream and if we look at uh string list we'll see that, that that's working fine and our uh was our old school old school we'll see that's not working uh, it's missing unicode characters because it's obviously not unicode aware so we'll go back to our string list and if i take out close that our oops it's the very first one our encoding so just cut that and go go and we'll go back and it reloads and we've lost our unicode so we can include that on the parameter or i could say sl dot default encoding was signed utf8 and i suppose technically it should be in there and so when i run it this time it'll work again And then we have our Unicode back. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. Basically, use this method. And in fact, I can leave off the UTF-8 because it saves in UTF-8 by default, I think. Double check that. I'm not entirely certain. And it's IO utils. And yeah. So we've got our Unicode. So this would be my preferred way of saving a string to a file. And it works pretty good. There's also append, I think, as well. Uh, there's a whole bunch. I mean, tfile, there's a lot of methods on it. So we've got append all text, edit, and so on. OK, so that's all I wanted to cover. Do go to learndelphi.tv and check out my books, Code Better in Delphi and Code Faster in Delphi. And also, uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and you know subscribe to the channel. And also, I do have a lot of commercial videos available, which you can find on learndelphi.tv. There's 30-something hours, and I've been re-editing them a bit to make them more concise. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Alistair Christie.